and good evening everyone we are live a little bit delayed only two minutes though so i'm perfectly almost on time i eat too slow i was eating some lunch and took way too much time Need to figure out how to eat faster and hello there okay who's in the chat can you all hear me i hope you do and let's see who's in the chat before we jump into the game. JK, VBF, F, H, K. Why there is so many random letters in your name? Then there is Crocdog, uh, Do Willy Warrior, uh, Dr. Atomic, Spiteful Angel, Leif Erickson, RHBS, Wyatt R, AXL, Jamie Canada, Philip Suica. Diego, Brian, Samik Mojo, Archbeat, uh, Malik I, and Paladin Mike. So Brotherhood represented, I see, if there is Paladin Mike. Mm. I overfilled my shaker. It is not perfect. Okay. The leak, I hopefully, is managed. Don't want my desk to be wet. <laughs> That's what happens when you are in rush. Okay. Done. My headphones. Everything ready now. Everything ready. We are jumping to the game. Uh, there is no complaints in the chat, so everyone can hear me. That's good. Followed awaits us. It's a double script, by the way. So don't miss your opportunity to get all those legendary modules for a very tough task of getting good rolls. That is incredibly difficult. Here we go. By the way, if you are new here and you want to join me in game, you should be aware my friend list is still broken as of over a year by now. I don't know if it will ever get fixed. So only the people that added me long time ago are on my i mean can see me online i cannot see anyone those people can see me so if you want to join me you need to add someone who's already on my server and this way join me that's unfortunately the only way to do it and i was not able to find any workaround for the friendless issue neither bethesda so i did contact them a while back I reached as high as I could, and the best answer I got was, they basically said, even we don't know what's wrong with your friend list. You probably have too many friends. That's what I was able to figure out myself. I just added too many friends, more than ever expected to be possible, and that broke it. Oh, William Marin Golo, thank you a lot for gifting a membership. Appreciate that. And who do we welcome? We welcome Suika to Turtles Army. So welcome and may the shell be with you, Suika. Thank you. And we'll be working on end game build for the Holy Fire. Uh, there is my Holy Fire. I have I have two Holy Fire. One is standard. And other one, for more damage, is anti-armor weapon speed. I was not lucky to get a good third star, like less AP cost or so on. But all it means, if I want to use it in VATS, I will just need to spam more coffee. Less AP cost, less coffee. No less AP cost, more coffee. I'm currently still on my beginner build, so we'll need to change that. Uh, we'll start doing that. Probably now. Let me move to my favorite spot when I'm changing everything. Nuka World on Tour. I'm always open for your suggestions as well. If you have any. When we'll be working on this build. Oh, Greg Hall with a special message for everyone. Greg Hall, by the way, congratulations. I mean, congratulations. More like, thank you for supporting the channel for 31 months. That's a long period of time. And the message is dropping by to Lurk and congratulations almost on 87k subs. 100k is coming, turtle, my man. And hope the YouTube dream is still going strong. 
Thank you very much, Greg Hall. I do appreciate those kind words. Yeah, the YouTube dream. It's hard to imagine, but I'm like six months now successfully living a dream, being a full time gamer. I spent time playing video games. I spent time chatting with you, which is so amazing. And I can live out of that so far. So this is great. It cannot go any better. Yes, public test server is opened again, but there was no note, so I don't even know what actually changed on public test server. One thing that I know, the explosive effect on everything is now boosted by Grenadier. At least that are the first reports. So if you have exploding bullets and you add Grenadier, it is boosted, as well as Gauss weapons are boosted. The downside, what I see a lot of complaints already, those flashy effects are even more flashy than normally if you add Grenadier. Oh, uh, the team. We are the team. As you can see, no friend list. So if you want to join me, what you do, you figure out who's on my server. You just pause <laughs> when I am going over other teams and type those names and maybe someone add you. And this way, you can join. Okay. First thing first, we are crafting serums. Crafting serums. What mutations on endgame build? You probably already know, but if not, adrenal reaction. Bird bones. Not the carnivore. Not the chameleon. Eagle eyes. Uh, egghead, possibly, for more experience, but I currently do not need. Electric charge? No. Empath? No. Unless you are not a frontline tank. As I am frontline tank in power armor, then no empath. Grounded serum? No, because flamer is our main weapon. Healing factor? No, because it's reducing effectiveness of camps. Even if fast travel bug will get addressed, on my endgame builds I will not use healing factor, as overdrive, psycho buff, all this stuff will be weaker. And I cannot allow myself for that. Herbivore? Yes. Herit mentality? Yes. Marzipial? Of course. Plugwalker? No. Scully skin? And this is a little bit mixed. I'm already running power armor. I don't really need it. But if I would use class freak, I can as well go for it. And usually I do use class freak. So that's like a tricky one. It's a little bit of extra resistance. That's not essential if I have already power armor. But in the same time, the side effects, if I choose to land class, class freak, is just so little. So that's... Maybe I will think about it. Should I try without it? Let's try without it first and see if tankiness is there. Speed demon, mandatory. Talons, no. Twisted muscles, no. Unstable isotope, no. So we're done with serums. Now, let's wipe out all the mutations. If I Do I have radaways or did I sold them? I have four. Oh, that's not enough. That's not enough radaways. Can I craft some or do I need to go and look for a rat shower? I never craft radaways. What do they craft from? Radaways. Craft from glowing... Fungus, plastic purified water, antiseptic. Okay, I don't have glowing fungus. But, okay, there is a trick I can do. I have four regular radaways. So what I do? Oh, uh, before I change the loadout. I need to sort out legendary perks. Otherwise, it will be trouble. This one goes out. Those two stays. Now my standard special, the most reliable, is endurance. And why those? Uh, okay, quick explanation why not uh, strength or charisma, but I'm adding endurance, intelligence, agility, luck. The reason for that is strength could be as well, but the reason for that is a lot of builds do not require six perception. If we, with max out perception legendary, the lowest you can get is six. A lot of builds do not require that. Uh, about charisma, I don't use that because it doesn't count for perk sharing. 
So basically, I will not be able to share anything if I run Legendary Charisma, as those points will not count. So that's why not Charisma. Strength could be. Strength could be. But I like Endurance, Intelligence, Agility, and Luck. And I do not swap them, because when I'm changing loadouts, they will not load properly if I will have here a different special. I need to keep those four cards always if I want to use very handy loadout switcher. Will not work if I would change those legendary. So never change it. Always keep the same. Now, crafting. And that should give me the ability to get a bunch of diluted radaways for cheap. Uh, right away, you see, it's four now, plus super duper can trigger. So that should be enough, hopefully, to wipe out my mutations. Now we are going for end game build, so we'll be updating, and we'll see if update is required of my. That's my beginner heavy. I can change that, or I can go on my heavy gunner and update heavy gunner loadout. Let's try to start from that and then we update it. My heavy gunner loadout for the latest iteration. Removing mutations, so star genes out. Oh, this loadout is already not in order. Yeah, it's already not in order. There's a lot of fixes required. That in a second. First. How much? Okay, 16 diluted right away. Is that enough? To wipe out my mutations. Okay, I'm out. Stats. This list is shrinking now. <laughs> Let's see if we shrink it to zero. Okay. A little bit more. Still talons in marsupial there. Okay. Oh, oh, it's okay. Okay, marsupial bear bones can stay. So we good. <laughs> okay, run out away. Run out of those radaways too early, but those can stay. So I'm good. So I just don't use. Now, when you are applying a fresh serum, sort by value. That's very helpful as his serums have the highest volume. So the highest value, they will go on top. All the serums you hold. So, okay, adrenal reaction. Bearbones already there, eagle eyes, herbivore, herd, uh, marzipel is already there, speed demon. We have mutations, and now let's make sure I don't forget star genes again. Jump in. Alright. So that's kind of starter, and I already don't like it. We'll need to redo a lot. Like, there is not enough charisma. I don't think I will be running Chem Fend. Uh, let me see if you guys have any suggestions. Oh, Philip, you upgraded to PS5 and you have good experience with higher FPS. I'm happy to hear that. Yeah, the patch that updated FPS, amazing. I mean, I'm on PC, so I always had good FPS, but I used to play on consoles back in time. Uh, I will probably go back to consoles in the future, but that's still away. I'm living my YouTuber dream, so I'm playing video games and I can live out of that, but before I will have enough money to like rent a proper house, probably somewhere on seaside, that can take time. And I don't have room in here, uh, in this apartment, to put consoles or TV anywhere. A holy turtle, <laughs> yeah, we are making a holy turtle.
there will be friendly fire. That's a good point. Yeah, definitely friendly fire is a must in my opinion. Okay, let's see what I need to kick out first. Class 3, good with salt. I probably want to keep good with salt, but luck will be overloaded already. I'm not sure if I will keep ricochet, even though it's amazing. But I want to squeeze in criticals, and that can be a little bit of an issue. I need criticals. I need alcohols to boost my crit for endgame occasional VATS usage. I want to have ability to use VATS if I am really rushing the boss fight. And coffee and all the good stuff. All the good stuff that comes with all this special and the end game need to be included i will not go for explosives most likely so let's kick that out i'm not sure if i need those more powerful stims so let's kick that out for now uh, i don't really need scrapper i have so much of all scrap that it's not essential maybe someone will share it and that rate stabilized definitely stays through haika i don't need action boy Born survival adrenaline and dodgy I most likely want those. That's good for tankiness. I'm not sure if I will be running Ricochet. Let's take it out for now. Mm, I definitely need more charisma. At least four more points. Maybe five. So I can share a rank free card. Let's see about that. I don't want Kempfent as I, I'm not expecting any boss fight to take longer than 3 minutes. So that will not be needed. When I will be boosting for boss fight, I'm not expecting it to take longer than 3 minutes. I need my carry weight, yes. I will not be going for explosives, so not a grenadier. Blocker, all the heavy gunner, traveling pharmacy, that's probably good. Blocker can be useful if you are bloodied. So lock and load is good too, but... I don't think it will be essential. Flamer is already such a high capacity of fuel. So we have some room to work with. Should I be equipping Gunsmith? That's a good question. I'm not sure. Uh, occasional usage in VATS will most likely re require power user. So let's try that for now. Power user. I have so many animated cards that my FPS is dropping when I, when I have them all open. Uh, batteries included. Probably, yes. It's flamer fuel, fusion cores. So batteries included. Have three points left that are, like, not needed. Science perks are giving me nothing. Portable power is... Cool for all the chases I can carry, but that's overdoing the carry weight. I could toss in first aid, but as well. I have so many stims always. I can just carry only super stims and first aid is not needed. So I think that's looking good. Yeah, I know. Especially, like, I'm thinking about Gunsmith, but the Flamer, the default role on holy fire is already extra durability so maybe i'm good uh, now i supposed to squeeze in those criticals so better criticals and crit savvy and there is no room for bloody mess that's 15 percent damage how i do that uh, how penalized will i be for not using class freak is it too much Let's try without class freak as experimental run. And toss in bloody mess. So go all damage on luck category. Then curator. I have those magazines and bobbleheads. And those are expensive. So when I will use them, I want them to last for more than one boss fight. Mm. That is looking good. Uh, not the green temp here. They definitely will need concentrated fire. Probably rank 1 will do it. Could go rank 3, but is there a point? Or should I just move? I probably should move those points. 
I need points to charisma, so I'm still figuring out where those points will come from. Am I missing anything important for Endgame? If you notice that I'm missing something, let me know. Oh, Kevin, thank you a lot for joining Territor's army. Appreciate that. And may the shell be with you. Thank you for your support, Kevin. Why do I have two better criticals? Someone is sharing rank one of better criticals, but I need it max out. Without star genes, I will use a mutation if I would use right away. But I'm more concerned as a bloodied build and star genes. Why everyone runs star genes as a bloodied build and not everyone at full health build and so on. The main reason for that is that even if you don't use right aways, even if you exclusively go on Brahmin milk, you can gain unwanted mutations and that can be really bad imagine getting empath and grounded on a holy fire endgame build it will ruin the build too much i mean not ruin it will still work but it will no longer be optimized so you need star genes you cannot go without it on bloodied build so that's explanation for it now uh, I have two, five, eight, nine points. So that's more than I really need. Hmm. I could probably keep endurance. The high endurance is good on endgame build. Higher the endurance, higher the health and less consumption from sprinting. So what will be good? Immunity to chem addiction. I mean, I have addictor. Oh, cola nut. I need cola nut. My endgame build. I need cola nut. Okay, that's one. Ghoulish. I do not need, even though it's cool. Mm. Chems that do not generate test. The hydrofix is kind of good. If if you are using lots of camps and perfect bubblegum, but I am not doing that. Lead belly is quite good, but there is a downside to lead belly. It's harder to manage your rats if you have it maxed out. The lower rank of lead belly, it's probably a good idea. Oh, revenant. I need revenant, so I even need one more point under endurance. One more point. Do I have enough points then? Should I drop Radical maybe? Maybe I will have enough strength. Let's see. Uh, Revenant. Yeah, I need that. Endgame build. Extra power. Yes. Now. I need those five charisma points. I need five charisma points. We have four and five. Okay, one from agility, three from intelligence. Oh, dark. I'm thinking for too long. Move points. One, one, two, three. Let's go here. One from here to charisma. Done. Now the next essentials. Uh, we are jumping in for friendly fire, rank 1, as there is no need to use higher. And then... Happy go lucky. Oh, but I have to... Should be enough with rank 1 happy go lucky. Happy go lucky. And party boy. Is that enough to boost my luck? Maybe it will be. I have... Okay, for now, green tampon. Spend all the points. And someone is doing daily up. I'm joining. 
Why are we doing daily up? It's oh, it's already reset. Yeah, it's past six, not past five. Oh, uh, power armor. Of course, I will be running my Union power armor. Most likely with weapon weight. I could run ammo weight, but I think weapon weight is better, especially that I already included batteries. If I would not like to run batteries included, I could add it, but. Weapon weight power armor seems like an endgame choice. And if not that, overeaters. But overeaters, probably too much tankiness, it's more than I need. I still need radiation. I know that. Do I have a uh, spoiled Brahmin milk? Okay, faster from. Spoiled Brahmin milk and spoiled stuff is generally how I get my rats. <laughs> That's my usual, usual approach to that. Okay, it's decryption, but they still cannot kill me, so that's a good sign. They have armor piercing projectiles, they still cannot do much, and I'm not even hydrated. I still need to sort the food out. So food is not sorted yet, I'm already doing really good. We'll be earning, earning way more fuel than I'm using, definitely on endgame build. Oh, did anyone try to use Kabloom for self-revive? Does it work? I need to try. So I'm pretty sure Kabloom is like too much damage for self-revive, but I need to try it. Of course on power armor without poison resist. Kabloom will not work on this power armor. Oh, there's so many microscopes in this. Always in here? The school always had so much good junk. I missed that. Somehow. Yeah, and Bethesda give, need to give us some opportunity, so my helmet will stop showing on the scrapping bench. It's kind of annoying. Enemy leader. Where are you, enemy leader? I see the leader. go oh, too close to that yeah I'm perfectly tanky and five minutes not a bad time daily op completed I even earned some script it's a double mutations I think is it double the Leops double or regular? Yeah, it is double still, okay. It's not quite double, because you're only getting twice as many rolls for currencies. So, those rolls I just roll twice as many times as normally and not double. Of course, no good rewards. Why do I use crit perks? That's for boss fights. If you don't know, every single crit that you can do on boss fight, if you are boosted with better criticals and stuff, is worth 20 regular shots. So if I crit once versus Colossus, it's worth as much as 20 fuel. So let's say I do 10 criticals on the Colossus, is equivalent of unloading entire 200 fuel the full canister on the colossus without using vats so that's a huge difference 10 crits or an entire canister the same amount of damage
Now, what kind of other weapons will I be using? Oh, I still have my script weapons on me. Let's sort that first. And that is, of course, bad. Power armor pieces I will try to store. Uh, oh, that's not a script weapon. That's a good Furious. In case they ever buff Furious, <laughs> I have that's a script weapon. Furious explosive, or maybe I keep it. I will give it away. I don't have room to keep everything. I will give those two away. Furious explosive weightless new. No. Other furious stuff need to go. Especially submachine guns. Those are outdated. We have Elder's Mark now. Furious melee definitely not. Tesla no. Oh, I have another holy fire. I must have dropped that from event. Oh, I have another kabloom. Uh, Kabloom will get script, but let me see what Kabloom does if I fire it with this power armor. Will I take any damage? A little bit. Does it stack? Okay, poison doesn't stack. So I'm taking a little bit with a Kabloom in power armor. Uh, let me pop one of the banners. So I want to see if safe self revive is possible with the kabloom. Let me exit power harbor. That's for fun. Let's see what happens. I'm expecting that self revive will not work as poison will slowly drain my health even after the revive is supposed to happen and it will finish me off. Let's see. Okay, I think I still have some poison resist, so it's slow. <laughs> Did you so? It triggered, but I'm still dead. <laughs> so I, I I got injured twice in a row. Oh, that's hilarious. Can someone revive <laughs> I, I, I need help. Mm. Okay, the kabloom is not the way to go. Even new cowards people are looking at me and saying, what what is wrong with this guy? <laughs> okay. Oh, my scrap. No one took it. Thank you that no one took it. That's very nice out of you people. Okay, the Kabloom is not the way to go. It's definitely not the way to go. It kills you twice in a row, which is very bad. Okay, Kabloom, so say bye bye to Kabloom. I have another Holy Fire. Do I need another Holy Fire? I already have a Holy Fire. And that's another one. Okay, those three weapons. It, it, it's a giveaway. It's a giveaway at my camp. I'm giving those away. Maybe someone wants them. Okay, we are in my camp. I'm grabbing my free resources. I definitely need more of the Brahmin milk. Thank you, my fellow Brahmin. Take all those resources that are generated. Uh, do I have? I do have fusion cores that require a charge. Let's put them in here. Give me my coffee. Some of my ammo. Can it produce fuel? Is there a fuel option? There's no fuel option. Let's switch to 50 rounds. There's no fuel option. Mm. More resources, honey. You can 
course. Nice crap. I need to do a different cam that will be basically for resource generation, so I don't need to run around like crazy. Okay, weapons. Furious plasma. Light machine gun. Holy fire. Who needs that? Oh, should I? Okay, I'm selling holy fire. I need some caps. I forgot that. Holy fire will not be free. The other two will be free. <laughs> I changed my mind. Holy fire will not be free. Holy fire will go for... 3,000 caps. Just above the script price. I think it's fair. No. Let's gather some stuff. Oh, I know what I need on this build. I need a syringe. Probably. Oh no, syringe is only for ballistic, isn't it? Only ballistic resistance. Okay, I don't need syringe. It's ballistic resistance only, if I'm not mistaken. Could be cooking here, but gathering water is just so slow. Painfully slow. Oh, this suit? Anyone need this suit? I don't want it. Fashionable glasses, imposter outfit, rat stack hide, blood eagle, welding goggles. Outfits are free of charge. Do I have any useless plans? More minor gauntlet, bass blade. Those will sell. Yeah, those will sell. Do I have some that. I don't know any plans. No. Okay. Mm. What is. 36 minutes on serums before I will see how bad it will be to run without class freak. What will be the penalty? Adrenaline reaction will be minus 50 HP. Shouldn't hurt me too much. It's a little bit hurtful, not too much. Okay. Minus 50 HP. Minus 4 strength. I don't care about strength. Oh, Eagle Eyes is penalty to what? Strength? Herbivore is fine, there is no penalty. There is no penalty who health mentality. Uh, marsupial only intelligence, so that's okay. Uh, speed Demon, Hunger Thirst, okay, I can live with that. I'm not particular about Hunger and Thirst. I can use perfect bubble gums. Probably Class Freak will not be needed, as I didn't apply Scully skin. So I should be good. Should be good with that. Now, we do cooking in a shelter. Oh, is there any daily that I need to build stuff in a shelter? TSE Elder Smart can be quite good. Especially with next patch when explosions will be buffed by Grenadier. I would say keep it, because it will be amazing weapon for tagging everything. Let's quickly check. Oh, Atom Shop free stuff. Uh, yes, I can show you my Union Power Armor, but basically what I was rolling for is weapon weight reduction. The other rolls are whatever I could get the best. But I didn't roll enough to choose more than one star, so I was after weapon weight reduction exclusively. Mutant Hound Chaps to NPC Vendor. Collect a Teapot, Cripple Protectron or Robobrain Arm. Don't necessarily like that, but it's okay then. Kill a Scorched. Kill Snally. Mod a weapon. Yeah, we'll do that. All of that we can do weekly. Collect. Fungus, scrap chunk to produce fertilizer, kill more miner, mod energy weapon, epic, build a miscellaneous item or resource in a workshop or camp. Okay, the workshop or camp, so shelter doesn't count. Uh, I will reload those mole miners or brain fungus. I reload whatever I want. 
I want some epic. Oh, eat pre-war food. That's so easy. In case I cannot get epic, I reroll that. Oh, epic! Kill super mutant with a rifle. Oh, come on. Okay, so I will need to use a rifle for a little bit. It will be fine. Now, this 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 place is actually perfect, like this shelter, uh, for cooking. I just need to add cooking station next to water. Let's put some foundations so it will be more flat. We'll have cooking station in here and loadout. Can I put loadout machine? Oh, I can. So I can go on crafting, the cooking and crafting if necessary. Cooking station can be different one. I like this. A little bit of a fire. Let's put that in here. And what else needs to be close to water? I can put chemistry bench close to water. Which one? Some fancy chemistry bench. Fancy chemistry bench. Uh, then... Oh, brewery. Beer. <laughs> okay, more crafting. Uh, power armor can be somewhere on the floor. Okay, more foundations. More room. Why? Why it doesn't attach? Come on. It's a shelter. I should be allowed to build whatever I want, however I want. Attach. What's wrong with it? Oh, finally. Don't know what was the problem. Should be like relaxed building rest restrictions. That's the idea of building inside a shelter. So please let me. <laughs> okay. Oh, chess is for you. Thank you a lot for donating 10 memberships to Territory's Army. Thank you very much. And who do I welcome? I welcome the Willy Warrior, Sean Bagwell, Mark Yano, Nomad, Stefan, Richard Kasi, Ferenc Coxic, Jason Murphy, Daniel Sommerholder, and Mark. Welcome to Territus Army and may the shell be with you. Thank you very much. Chess is for you. Our biggest donor and basically almost like a sponsor of the channel Chess is for you. Thank you very much. Okay, so let me put that in here. Have that, that, okay. If I want to craft some of this stuff. I put it just over there. Oh, no. Need to look fancy. No, that's too big. Okay. Let's go with this skin. Quite classic, a little bit different. And we add some more fancy skin for that. Now I have all of it. Oh, this one. Last one missing. Or did I already place it? No, I didn't. Oh, this is my favorite skin for that. Definitely using this skin. Now, if any resupply will be needed, I need to add some... Uh, not the miscellaneous stash boxes. Where are the stash? Stash boxes. Here we go. I need all the stash boxes on hand in here. Let's put this one, this one, and of course this one. All right. That should be easy crafting time. So there is water. So look how fast you can gather water if you are cooking in this shelter. 
Let's spam the button. That sorts out all the water gathering issues. Spam the button until all will be gathered. Then I can be using this punch, punch machine whenever I'm crafting, swapping seamlessly to crafting set. So super duper is automatically equipped thanks to that. Cook all the water. Then going for the basic... Oh, I have only one mud fruit? How do I have only one mud fruit? Okay, I need to plant them. How that happened? I have potato, so I can craft potato juice. Plants. Have Charlie's feet if I want to. Small lag boost, but sometimes maybe I will use it. So I go for Charlie's feet. A regular AP region from corn. In most cases, enough. I need to get more mud fruits. Uh, give me sugar. So then I can go for potato salad. Potato salad is the best end game herbivore tankiness buff. I need more mud fruits. And I'm pretty sure I need to sell to NPC uh, vendor hand traps. I do them just in case other stuff will just get rid of. Do I need any alcohols? I don't think so. One that I need is new Coca-Cola Dark, but that requires a lot of snap tire read, and I think I still have new Dark. Oh, I have only two. Okay, so I will need to gather snap tire reads and some stuff like that. Okay, let me see. Snap tails. I need some snap tails. Snap tails grow in here. Oh, this season is at least one more month before it ends, so don't worry. Okay, my snap tails are growing over there. There are my snap tails. I'm still on the crafting build. But that's fine. Can gather some glowing fungus too. Gather everything. Do I have gathering perks equipped on my crafting build? What do I have there? Oh yeah, I do have gathering perks. So that's my crafting build, by the way, if you want to. Or if you think to make in the future crafting builds that's crafting slash building as contractor as well as equip the home defense if I want to put turrets and so on. All the stuff, that's my crafting build. So I don't need to keep swapping everything all the time. As much crafting perks as possible is equipped. And uh, yes, about the energy weapon builds. I'm not making any now, because from next update, I mean, I'm not sure if the update that is happening on Tuesday, probably not, but from the next season, the science perk will be giving extra damage with energy weapons, so I, I wait with my builds until that happens. I could be doing that now, but then I will be explaining why I have science perk equipped to everyone who's not updated into a public test server and that would be like counterproductive so i just wait until the until those changes will be implemented and then i will be making energy weapon builds the small energy weapons not the large ones so not the heavy guns heavy guns will not be affected at all that's worth to mention i think heavy guns not affected Oh, 
how much more snap tails do I need? Oh, come on. Why cannot gather this wood? Okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have more snap tails than I need. But okay, there's one more. That's my favorite spot for snap tails. There's a lot of good spots for snap tails. That's just my favorite. Because usually I have plenty of glowing fungus. For rat reses. That's a stackable rat reses, by the way. Oh yeah, there was a daily about crippling robots. I think protectrons, though. Not any robot. Alright, and now we have that. Let me see. Do I really? Where are... There is no trees. There is no mud fruit trees. How I did this garden? <laughs> How I produced this garden? There is... There is... There is no mud fruit trees. Okay, I did it wrong somehow. Or I placed them somewhere else. I don't know. Let me fix that. I need mud fruit trees here. Uh, food, food, mud fruit trees. How oh, there is like no room. Let me move that a little bit on the side and remove that. Can I move this somewhere else? No. Definitely don't need so much gourd. So maybe just remove the gourd. How much razor grain do I need? I don't need this corn. Can I move this razor grain? I don't like how we cannot put all those plants more tightly together. Why there need to be such a huge gap? Okay, trees. What existing object? Free? Oh. Okay, I need more. Let me turbo fire those and place more. I know I should be doing that faster. I'm not the fastest person. I'm not the fastest turtle in this world. <laughs> Take me a little bit to redo all of this stuff. Okay, I, need, like, I think with five mud fruits I will be good. Oh, come on. Finally, okay, five mud fruit trees. With enough of most of the stuff. One, two, three. Maybe add one more razor grain if there is room left. For a moment, there was green. Green. Oh. All right. Now we are packed. We have a proper plantation. Great. Finish brewing those buffs. Spirit Nuka Dark. Have that done. Oh, I should craft some uh, Nuka Shine if I can for my ally. It need to be regular Nuka Shine. So I need to wait for it to ferment once. I will not even put it into the fermenter. It always ferments too fast if I put it there. So I keep Nuka Shine on me. my courage mm. 
and here I wanted to do mud fruit juice. What? Oh, I'm missing one very important buff before we change the loadout. Uh, we are heading to Striker Row. Is that the best spot? Oh, you posted on the Discord chat how to put plants better. Yeah, I will need to test it one day. Learn the proper planting techniques to stack those plants more tightly. Yeah, that's the spot I suppose to go. Oh, the blight. If you don't know, blight is essential for damage. Oh, that was raisin. I don't know if glowing raisin is needed for anything. The blight for sure. Blight is the essential essential part for high damage build of any kind it's for boss fights there is like no way around without vats criticals you will not achieve the full potential no matter what the weapon is there is not a single weapon that performs better without criticals than with criticals not a single weapon that is even close without criticals compared to with criticals which is unfortunate, like... There should be some weapons that perform well without VATS criticals. Okay, that's enough. No, that's a live server, whoever is asking about public test server. We are on the live servers, not the test servers. Okay, now the final crafting and we can change the build back. No, oh, wrong way. The cooking station is there. So trading and cooking. I no longer carnivore, so no hot dogs for me. Plant food. Light soup. Oh, that's a lot. Glowing fungus. I will spend the rest of the water on that. Should I craft some sugar from remaining snaptails? Yes. Oh, the more tato salad. Uh, <laughs> it's too much tato salad. No, let's uh, let's do six. I right? consume all my brahmin milk. What is syrup? Oh, syrup just gives agility. Oh, syrup is weak. And you, Betty, would you be interested in buying some of my stuff? I want my cups. Food and drink. Okay, those flowers, I don't need them. Have a lot of blight soup. Oh, I should be eating pre-war food. Okay, don't sell pre-war food. Sour plus fungus will sell. Or my new Kikula. I need to reduce the amount of why. Do I need royal jelly for anything? I forgot what is it for. Apart from the fact it gives AP. What usually people keep royal jelly for? I, I know there is a use case for royal jelly. I forgot what. Oh, stop selling that. I'll keep those. Those are rare. Okay, and aid. The serum another serum and all caps are mine now officially all caps are mine done with the essential crafting G 
change to heavy gunner. Get dark. Oh, there should be liquid courage on that button. Get dark, liquid courage. Have overdrive psycho buff, new Kadark liquid courage. That is standard buffing order, by the way, for heavy gunner with boss fights. There should be my Brahmin milk. All right, we have some coffee on the ready. Whenever the boss fight pops, the coffee. How much coffee is AP per second? Let me pop one. I forgot again. It's 12. Okay, it's 12 per second. One coffee, 12 AP per second. Does it? Oh, I think it says if I just inspect. Oh, yeah. 12 AP for 25 seconds. Uh, that's usually as long as the whole fight takes. <laughs> if, if you are a proper speedrunner. That's probably as, about as much as whole fight will take. After, of course, the next patch will remove boss's health regeneration. So it will be one full 25 seconds burst of firing. 12. 12 AP and the holy fire is using 33. Okay, I think it can be reduced a little bit. Back to crafting. See, I swapped too early. I didn't finish. I didn't finish yet. Royal Jelly was for HP. Oh, Blackberry Honey Crisp is one of the things to cook for the Pioneer Scout badge. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure if I change the tank, I can reduce AP. Yeah, I need to use standard to reduce it by 3. 10% cheaper VATs, half the capacity. I don't even know if it's worth it. Maybe worth it if I would have 25% less AP. Okay, no. Will not change it. How much coffee will my holy fire require? Okay, we have 33. The fire rate of 132, so that's 13. 33, okay, let's calculate the coffee. 33 multiplied by 13 and divided by 12. It's 35 coffee cans. To sustain the holy fire. Okay, that's quite expensive. But what can you do? 35. So that's quite intensive spam <laughs> from the from the coffee. Coffee 35 cans. To use holy fire in vats. That's quite a lot. Doable though. Oh, there is a duke. Already? I enter power armor after arrival. Oh, come on. Not now. Fast travel bag. Good evening, Axel. Moving a little bit closer first. So if I will be too slow to do any damage, I will still get loot. I'm getting there. Go on, faster. Too far. Oh. Awesome timing. Oh, by the way, what's the best best way to put yourself down without instantly killing yourself at this moment? 
Do you guys know the reliable way? I know the grenade, the cryo grenade. Is there other way or is the cryo grenade still the best? I don't even know. Yeah, I need to add some wrench weapon to this build. Because when she's flying, I cannot do much with qualifier alone. Yeah, I wasn't buffing at all, but... Scorch this queen, there is so many people, you shouldn't waste your buffs on Scorch this queen. It's easy to just fire a little bit for attack for most part. Unless you'll be on the server that is struggling, then you can reconsider something, but normally no. You don't need to do much. She will indeed die. Quite easily. Not even unencumbered. Is the forest nuked? Oh, cups! Sloth cup! Yeah. <laughs> That's what sloth is good for, it's dropping a bunch of cups. I know there used to be a farming method for cups with killing sloths. There is no error. Sometimes, I mean, uh, the Earl's brother Randall can spawn. I think Captain Noob uh, named it Randall. But still, a lot of people is using this name, so I will go with Randall. over what I was doing oh figuring out a secondary weapon for the build and a way to put yourself down and self revive holy fire can drop from beast of burden event but faster way is usually trading with someone who has spare one like, I put one into my vendor, I don't know if it's sold already or not. But it's the fastest way to just save cups and buy it from someone. So Holy Fire is quite accessible. As it drops from events, so... Unlike regular random legendaries that are extremely rare, Holy Fire is not extremely rare. Okay, sorting the weaponry. Oh, I have a bunch of script. Aristocrats, Buzz Blade, Deathclaw Gauntlet, Hunter's Messiah. Get rid of that. Now weaponry. I don't think I will be running Final Word on this build. Final Word to the storage. If Holy Fire, Messiah Booster to the storage and Boomstick to the storage. This build will not be running Boomstick as there is no explosives. Question is, what kind of secondary weapons? Hmm. Should be running some Plasma Caster. But hit chance is currently broken, so maybe not. TSC Mini for tagging is not bad at all. That's my tagger. That's the ultimate tagger for events if I want to use. So I will. I should carry it. Let's carry it. I need. don't need to do damage with it. I just need to tag. Should I have some cryo with me? Probably no. I would say no. Oh, that was Kevdude that called it Randall? Or maybe that was Kevdude. I don't remember, really. Please don't blame me if I got it wrong. I know that someone started calling Earl's brother Randall 
Uh, that that's how it is. <laughs> Quadcaster Quad LMG LMG is so expensive in VATS even with less AP cost Oh Quizel, thank you a lot for 5 quid mate Appreciate that and the message from Quinzel is Hi Turtle, you have a nice holy fire there Oh yeah, thank you Quinzel, I, I'm quite sure you have something to do with it <laughs> Thank you a lot for 5 quid A uh, bloody cryo Anti-armor Gatling Plasma, that's kind good One of the secondary weapons, I should probably go for something with more accuracy too I can go with this as well. That's still cheaper in VATS than the Holy Fire is, so I should probably keep that. Something with good accuracy for a flying flying creatures. Uh, high range, good accuracy. Isn't that the high range good accuracy the best weapon? The question is, should I go with anti-armor or with bloodied? This is... This is good. Maybe I should carry that. Don't know if anti-armor... I should have bloodied similar stuff. Yeah. What is more powerful for flying creatures? Bloodied or anti-armor? I will compare those two now. Have ammo for it? I need to check if it's modified. They're different mods, I need to remodify it. You see more and more gold paints. Why is so many people liking the gold paint? I'm using gold paint, maybe I should paint it differently later. I don't know, okay, let's swap for crafting. Oh, someone is crafting. How that happened? Okay, I will wait. He's done. Plasma caster is good range, but it requires VATS. And I need something that I can use if I cannot use VATS. Severe beta wave tuner, no. I, I'm pretty sure Prime is still way to go. It's not even close with anything else than Prime, isn't it? Yeah. It's 11 extra damage with Prime. I will go with Prime. Align charging barrels. Is Align still the best? The true... The true is better accuracy, but worse recoil. Uh, the stabilized is much better. Oh, the accuracy difference is so little. Really? Wait. So I have way better recoil with stabilized. Sighted accuracy free. There is five. Oh. I'm going with stabilized. Let's see. I, I don't go for VATS on this weapon, so... Stabilized, yeah, reflex sight, beam focuser, of course. The mind paint is fine. And now let's do this one the same. So I'm going for stabilized then. Maybe I was wrong for using a line. You reach level of 500 and you don't have adrenaline or bloody mess packs? How is that possible? You cannot choose them? How many packs do you have saved? Maybe you made this mistake and you didn't spend your level ups. You know that you need to pick packs to unlock new packs. 
if you never pick perks, you will not unlock them. Like, you need to pick 50 cards before you unlock every card. That's how it works. I know it's strange, but that's how it works. If you didn't pick a card 50 times, you will still have some luck. Prime, Rift It's not much difference between those two. So standard, it's not much. The focuser, hip fire, and recoil. And one more thing that I would need to test about those lasers. So I have them set for ammo saving. But what if I would go with just stabilize long? I have that. Stabilize long. Or a line long. Oh, a line long is better than stabilize long. But stabilize charging is better than a line charging. Okay, this doesn't make sense. Like, do you see the difference? There's something wrong with those barrels. <laughs> Does it make sense at all? Stabilized charging is better, but stabilized long is worse than align long. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I need to test align long later to just get the full fire rate. Oh, and the range is a little bit shorter if I don't go with charging. Okay, so charging first. Okay, let's test this stuff. Why someone drop low, low leather? I don't have too many cores, but that should work. Okay, anti-armor first. Then we'll be testing bloodied. They both loaded, okay. Should be enough for test. Before I craft more, I need to know if I want more. I don't know if there is a pain for Enclave. They, they, there wasn't, but I'm not sure. Oh, most wanted? Uh, we'll be back here in a moment. Let's shoot some Scorch Beast first. Scorch Beast without stacking adrenaline. I just shoot Scorch Beast and see how they perform one versus other. Okay, where is the Scorch Beast? Aren't you a little bit too far? The invisible beams. <laughs> Still the case. Okay, 100 something. Is the bloody better? It's only 93. And uh, this, this was... Okay, I think anti-armor more universal and generally better. Okay, so we go with that. It's not great though. Maybe I should be going anti-armor faster fire than that. But I need faster kills. I cannot be struggling for so long. It's too slow. Does damage. I need more than that. But that's too slow. I need to see her melting. No, you can get 10 stamps only once a day from Pit. But after that, it's 8 or it's 9 if you choose a longer one. Like it's 9 if you choose Ashes from Ashes to Fire. Ashes to Fire? Is the name? Wait, what's the name? So, Union Deuce gives you 10 for a perfect first time. 
then eight for perfect every other one per day and from ashes to fire is giving you 11 for first run and then nine for consecutive runs oh thank you for the launch boxes and runners oh did i ah oh. <laughs> did it change the build for the test that's why the damage was so low I need to redo the test. I went with a crafting build. Okay, it's still time on this event. Let's shoot another Scorch Beast. I went with a crafting build to test a weapon. That's why the damage was so low. Okay, anti-armor again. Where are you? Yeah, that will be better already. I can see that. Okay, it's popping her for 130 something. And now she's she's firing me 149. Two hundred something. Okay, so bloody it is. Does look like blood, it is the choice now. And charging is suddenly enough when I have perks equipped. Okay, so anti armor was performing better. I still can test the regular barrel, but it will be less range. Maybe there is no need. I kill fast enough with this blood. It blood, it seems to be fast. Oh, Kevin, you made this same mistake and did daily ops and expeditions on your crafting build? <laughs> it happens. Yes, Chessus is saying it happened. <laughs> Trascal is saying I simulated average player build. <laughs> you see how huge is the difference? How much faster I was killing Scorvis with a proper build? was a huge difference. I forgot to reload when I was starting. When core is showing only 500, I should start with a reload. Forgot to scrap my noob power armor. That's other thing. Okay, so the difference between two, like damage will not be huge. I think bloody is slightly better, but I still don't know if I should be using bloody. Well, I just think the fastest will be to just take it off and scrap. Now I can store the armor pieces. Oh, both right arm, of course. Both need to drop the same, because why not? <laughs> both must drop the same. Okay, that's stored. So what I should choose? The anti-armor is weightless, so it doesn't take any space in my inventory. The blood it, the third star is dead. Mm. They both will perform 163, 218 per shot. That's 50 extra damage. 
That's about 30% from bloodied. Effectively. Okay, I have power armor with weapon weight reduction, so I probably can go with bloodied heavier one. And I will not be running full health here, so it will be fine. Let's put away the anti-armor. Keep the bloodied. Restore those fireworks. Now the next point in creating this build, we need a reliable way to self-revive and more like put yourself down. Let's rename that to my standard uh, naming scheme. Oh, that's not enough signs. Ultra Gatling Laser. <laughs> Bloodied Ultra Gatling Laser. Anti-armor plasma, but bloodied Gatling laser. This plasma can be used for bosses, so anti-armor will be good with bats criticals. Mm. The armor holy fire and the vampire holy fire. TSC mini. Uh, how do we have anti-armor holy fire, vampire holy fire? Uh, then we put the laser here, then tiger weapon, and the boss fight weapon. I'm sure I pretty much have every scenario covered with those weapons. Is there any scenario that those weapons do not cover? I don't think so. Now, what can put me down reliably? With those new energy damage uh, changes, can I maybe put myself down with Gamma Gun? Can Gamma Gun do something if I would mod it for energy damage? Uh, let me see. Uh, okay, crafting. Crafting again. Oh, someone is crafting. Um, why are people dropping a junk? Maybe they don't have followed first or something. Five rounds and fuel. That's what I'm using. I should carry a little bit more 5 mil for tagging. Usually the minigun tagging requires at least 1k, so I will take 700 more. By one event I will fire at least 1k with this T TSC mini. As it plates 118 bullets per 10 seconds. So that's a lot. It's two minutes of firing, it's more than 1k. Yeah, I tried the Kabloom. It finishes you off, so that's the problem. Can go deep for more rat, but I'm like, not more rat. What I want is electrical. Can I have electrical damage? I add electrical damage with standard dish. Sharpshooter makes it heavier, that's, I don't need it. Will that work in power armor or not? I need to find a solution. There, there must be a good solution that exists. I refuse to surrender and say that there is only the grenade option. I need to find better solution. The grenade is quite good, but so many times I had the grenade flying through the walls and then was another grenade and another grenade. The fight was going for half a minute before I was able to self-revive. And that's not good. Where is it? Quad. Okay. Oh, sure. <laughs> you need gamma rounds first. Uh, firing without gamma rounds. Load. Let's 
very little rats, but there is, I think, a little bit of damage. Yeah, the power armor is taking most of the damage, unfortunately, especially with dodgy, I think. I could be using spoiled milk to reduce my health before doing that. Like, spoiled milk first and then fire. Will it work even? Nope. <laughs> Too much rats. Nope. It's a nope. Okay, some kind of explosives probably will be better. The gamma is no. Okay, that's a no. Anti-armor... Gauss? Yeah, let's see this one. Uh, it's multi-projectile, so that can be a problem, possibly. Two mil. And of course, kick out that before it will start causing trouble. It does a little bit of damage to myself. Let's uh, pop some of the spoiled Brahmin milk first. And now, third person fires faster. Okay, that's very little damage. But... Oh, worked. Gauss? Is that my solution? Anti-armor Gauss? Oh, Don Mills, thank you a lot for 10 bucks. I appreciate that, Don Mills. And the message is to go towards the Turtle Armor Fund. <laughs> Turtle Armor Fund. Thank you. Thank you, Don Mills. So we have... We have our first candidate, anti-armor Gauss shotgun. I could buff it a little bit if I change the receiver and stuff, okay. Could probably buff it slightly. I'm still on the crafting build though, but I just need a reliable weapon to self incapacitate myself oh not on crafting build oh not on crafting build oh i know i could take off fireproof the point is i need to have something that works without me changing build just to put myself down. Refined, vicious, hardened, prime, hardened. That's 58 extra damage. The barrel is only rent, so it's like not needed really. Oh, less recoil. Oh, extended is more recoil. Shield that is less. I want less recoil as I will be firing the ground. The stock. Forceful, melee damage, less recoil, less recoil. Which one is the lowest recoil? Stability recoil. Align and forceful is the same, stability recoil. What's the difference? The aim speed on a line. 
We'll go for forceful. The mag. Uh, oh, perforating will probably help greatly to punch through my power armor. Perforating. All right. Uh, rename it. Renaming. Anti-armor gauss shotgun for self-revive. Let's hope it will work every time. I still need to retest it. I need it to work every time. As if not that, then do I have other candidates? Any more options? I would. I could use. Uh, what about test Zappa? Okay, we test this one as alternative option. That's much lighter. Test test Zappa. I don't have much use case for the test Zapper yet. Maybe that will be the first one. I have a lot of quantum ammo for it. Nuka Cola Quantum Gun. That's quite high damage even without demo expert. Maybe enough to do some damage to myself. It's already bloodied. It's only a little bit of weight. Let me pull some quantum ammo. We need to go back to heavy gunner build. Power armor. Is it capable of doing any damage to myself? With 10 ammo loaded into it already? Does it? Should be capacity of one. I have 10 ammo loaded. How's that possible? Okay. It does. Pack some damage. Oh, it's not loaded. It's unloaded itself. Seems like it's working quite well. Uh, of course, if I would preemptively reduce my health first. Why can I cannot change the view? I want first person. Oh, come on. How is it broken? I cannot change the view. Why am I stuck in third person? Okay, that's... That's odd. Never mind, we test that later as there is nuke coming. The question is, if is, is this gun going to kill me or just put me down? It would be really cool to use that for self-revive if this will be working. I stagger myself every time I fire and <laughs> it's not that going to reload animation. People are looking what I'm doing. <laughs> what this guy is doing, they like it's crazy. There's some crazy crazy turtle person. Another holy fire, thank you. Oh, that's crit damage, holy fire, bloody. Oh, it worked. So I can use either that. Oh, now I'm out of ammo. So there are options. Okay, awesome. And I, I'm, I'm willing to use this option as my main option. It's quite a solid amount of damage. Easy to use. Where is the new going? And we have Colossus fight. So oh, that's nice. I just received a new holy fire. 
with extra crit chart, crit damage, fire rate 109, it requires modifications. Maybe I should modify it. No, I don't want Nuka Launcher spa spam. I have all Nuka Launchers two shot. They will instantly finish me off, so that's not a good option. Two shot will finish you off, and I don't want to carry a explosive weapon that's a single shot and heavy. If I carry explosive weapon that's a single shot, I want it to be light like Terz Zapper. That's a lot of damage. So 900. That's a lot. That's require napalm tank. Should I be changing the propellant? Before I forget, change the build first before going anywhere. Now we are going to Colossa problem. We'll do the self revive. I don't know if I'll be spamming coffee. I bet there is a lot of people there, so I probably don't need to spam coffee. No, Assassin Zapper will be weaker. I know it's odd, but Anti-Armor Zapper will work best on self-damage. Anti-Armor works best for self-damage. Other setup just works worse. I still need to eat all my food and stuff. I totally neglected buffs so far, but we'll be using them now. At least the base amount. We're going for self revive too. Oh, not the regular holy fire for them. All right, so let's get ready. Let's reload all those holy fire. Let's see how on the boss on regular filing blood it compares with anti-armor. Let's go over my food. Light. Pop Charlie's feet, corn. Rat resist I don't need here. Pre-war food is one of my challenges. I eat meat for rats. To drop myself low. A mad fruit juice. Why not the popcorn? Potato juice, potato salad. Okay, I'm quite low, but not low enough. I think I will wait with milk after using the other buffs, as I will be popping Overdrive, Psycho buff. Do I want New Coca Cola Dark just to test if my special will go high enough? Probably want to see with. Nuka Cola Dark. I have only Charlie's feet at this moment. That's 21 luck. I don't want to rely too much on the camp luck buffs. Where's Charlie's food? Charlie's feet luck 2.5. 21. How much Nuka Cola Dark will give me? I only run a happy go lucky rank 1. I'm not sure if rank 1 is enough. Should I run lower party boy and max out happy go lucky? I will need to test that. Need more Nuka Cola Dark. Mm. Yeah, I think all my cards are correct. I don't currently have Born Survival. 
Maybe I can do it with Born Survival if this is one shot down. That should work. So I would apply uh, rats first. Don't want as well to wait too long. Maybe a 30 second mark I should start using buff or 20 second to be able to do everything on time. Yeah, I'm on the heavy gunner build. I didn't forget this time, but thank you for asking. I have Ogwa Gauntlet. I didn't try rolling yet. I'm saving modules. 20 second mark I'm going. Ready? 20. So, overdrive. Psycho buff. Nuka Dark. How much? Like 33. Okay, Nuka Dark is already enough. Liquid Courage. Spoiled milk. Uh, one more. Is that enough now? If I grab a uh, thirst zappa. Oh no. Too tanky. More milk. I need to be. Ah, too much milk. Okay, the zapper was close. I messed up. Ah. The born survivor and the zappa. Uh, I messed up. One more. Okay, now I'm low. That good enough now? Okay, it worked. Where is Air Williams? Okay, I'm doing quite high damage. How is the blood comparing? Oh, blood it is worse. I wasn't expecting that, but blood it is worse. I think. It's hard to say as those damage are changing, but it feels like. Or maybe the same? About the same. If I pop a little bit of coffee, how much coffee I should try? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Around 20. Around 20 is close to enough, surprisingly, with this one. Yeah, that is pushing high damage for sure. How is my anti-armor? I'm not sure which one is better. I'm really not sure which one is better. Anti-armor most likely thanks to fire rate will be doing more. Second try, I was able to do it right. With radiation and stuff. This could slightly too much, too much rats at first. Mess up a little bit. Eventually, I got it right. Oh, right now. Psycho buff expired. Almost put me down outside of schedule. <laughs> Atlantic City is 2024, early 2024. I would expect March to be a release date. Alright, so how it went. I'm not sure if I would be carrying this bloody with me. I would probably put it to my stash.
my luck drop back, but that's fine. The test zapper is good, but I need to be really low. Yeah, coffee machine is essential, otherwise there is no way to stack on this coffee fast enough. And that's the only way heavy gunner can go for vats, is the coffee. There's no other way. So the test zapper is good. I just need to be really low before shooting and Brahmin milk can be like a little bit tricky to use because I went too low what there is scorch earth they did almost the same to be honest and my anti-armor is faster fire rate I'm pretty sure anti-armor will outperform bloody in VATS as well. As the balance of power changes a little bit in VATS. Scorch Earth. laser or gutting of the plasma working if we are talking about flying target but, but those projectiles are slow yeah, I think still better with ultra side gutting laser oh how the beam is visible now wasn't before what happened Oh, I don't have muzzle on this one. Why I don't have muzzle on this one? I could have muzzle to help with recoil. To make it invisible, but that's okay. How expensive it is in VATS. Quite expensive, but push the damage. <laughs> Should be able to shoot in VATS with just several cans of coffee if she will be stuck flying like that. Let's see if I pop like 10. Fire. Oh, not enough? Okay, 10 is not enough. I need to be going for a burst. Doing a lot of damage in VATS, but I don't want to waste my coffee too much. I refuse to waste my coffee. Okay, I can, I can pop a little bit more damage if I self-revive myself. Where is my rat source? I'm low on my Brahmin milk. I need to find... Oh, she's landing. I need to find different source of radiation. 
where what are you doing where are you where is she on top of me stop jumping like crazy stand still oh come on what is that score to be squid seat all right that was a jumper we had a jumper she was doing her best to avoid us but we got her we got her down oh chess is for you with a special member message is saying everyone please hit the like button well that's a good reminder but thank you a lot to everyone who already did we have 100 likes so thank you to all of you that did press the like button oh there is some scores over there the legendary Yeah, this weapon is doing good damage. Oh, it was another legendary. Yeah, we keep the suck. me modify this laser don't know how that happened that there is no magic oh do i i need perks i need to change the crafting build again if i want to modify it Yeah, sunshine oil is not so easy to get, while coffee is free. Assuming you have the machine, of course. Anything else can be used too, but nothing is as good as coffee. Oh, there is radiation rumble. I need to go. We'll take more ammo for my Tiger Mini and I go there. Crafting. Let's mod that. Okay, where is it? Beam focuser. Improved recoil. Heavy gunner and red rumble. And I go there not for the experience, I go there for legendary. I want the legendary stuff and I want to test my tagger. So my tagger weapon, PSE Mini. Will be even better tagger weapon when I'll be able to use grenadier. Uh, the event, Marion. How do climb climb higher? I cannot empower armor. Want to get higher? I have a better idea. Replace myself, maybe. Can I do the power armor sniping position? One is not enough. Why is it disappearing? It's hard. Work. Okay. The lamp. Oh, the stupid lamp. 
I'm too high. No way I'm too high. How do I fix that? I need to drop the bag. I'm too high probably. Where's the drop bag? Drop. Kick me out. I cannot see other side. They put those vents in here. No way, it doesn't work. It could be lower. Oh. Hello, well. Not perfect. Not perfect at all. So I'm shooting the. Ah. That's so wrong. Should I be finding a better spot? We are sitting on that. But I wanted my own spot. This somehow end up being too too tall. Should have been too tall. Come on, collect. Why is it not collecting? Okay, my power armor seems to be stuck here now. Gonna be just running back and forth and firing. to get some tags. Oh, I killed three Snallygasters. There is a light in there. Two of them. There's always so many people that why I'm going only for tagging and not killing. I like how the minigun tip is warming up and going red when you fire. Sitting here is probably the best option. It's trying to overcomplicate it with my power armor thing. I can even shoot there. I will still get a good tag. We'll see how many legendaries. Legendaries should be lootable for me, regardless if I tag them or not. Unless they're too far away when dying. Oh, my ammo is getting low, and there is still three minutes left on the event. I think this weapon offers a good balance between accuracy and spread for tagging. Especially on higher distance tagging. It works without them an expert, that's the most important. 
I know it works because I'm getting experience, so I'm getting tags, and now I'm out of ammo. Can I recover some ammo? I can. Well, there's like four legendary on this side. That's a good start. And from this side, three legendary. So I'm doing good. The spoiled meat summoned toss away a perfectly fine spoiled meat. Oh, I recovered more ammo than I spent, so this tagging was worth it. So, more ammo recovered than spent. Oh, scout banner affect you. I hear the sound. Maybe there would be even more like that. This event and eviction notice. Best two for legendary farming. And experience farming in the same time. They, they must have drastically in improved the drop rate for 5 mil ammo. I know I was never able to look enough to resupply my minigun when I was using it in the past. Now I can. Even though I'm totally not spec for any experience, I'm getting a lot of experience. Seconds. The spin up time is not too bad on it either. You can be firing, stopping a little bit to turn around. When I'm turning around, I'm just releasing the mouse and pressing it back on instantly. So when I finish turning around, I'm firing again. Oh, I have some spare cups to spend. Wow, the server is lagging. That's one more legendary. And there was no legendaries anymore here. There was still a good, I think, eight legendaries or so. That's totally not bad. Oh, it's the scavengers here died. <laughs> no one was protecting them. Come yeah, on, server, catch up. We are scrapping that. Perfect. Look at that. More ammo <laughs> after the event than before. I started with 1k, I have almost 2k after the event. Very efficient. Yeah, this is perfect event to rank up. I'm happy, Scarter, that you managed to catch me live. We are finishing the latest build, the finishing touches. Okay, the power armors can be stored, so maybe store them first. To 
find them easily. Sword by weight. So power armor pieces are on top. This one full. Last piece on here. All stored. Scrapping. No, not the holy fire. This holy fire, I need to go to my stash box before I scrap. Put to the stash box whatever shouldn't get scrapped. The Gauss shotgun, I'm not sure if I should be using Gauss shotgun. I need to try it again. More minor gauntlet. Plasma pistol. Not not my terrace zapper. Enclave. Ah, it cannot be modified anyway. I need to start dropping with mods. How much damage am I getting now as I didn't test uh, the shotgun after I modified it? Still very little. If I spam in third person, quite little. What I'm trying to test now. Will I still revive if I'm spamming, or will I finish myself off? Okay, I can spam. Okay, that's good. So that works. Even when I spam it. Another option. If I use for perfect rat management this quad... Gamma ray instead of uh, using a lot of irradiated food. Will that be better combo for the uh, test zapper? So that would be maybe more reliable. Oh. Okay, one more thing. I need deep dish if I want to do any radiation to me. Deep dish and auto. Let's remodify it. I need more reliable way. I'm still looking for the more reliable way to do it faster. Oh wait, Xerxes? No, not this one. I wanted Quad, not Xerxes. Xerxes is lower level. Quad. Where is this? Quad. There we go. So let's see, quad, deep dish, and if I put on it signal repeater, so it's, it's automatic, automatic quad, how well it will go. What does it mean, Scartera twice FFR? Yes, Union is the best power armor, in my opinion. Okay, heavy gunner, and let's see. Go for the squad. How fast will it irradiate me? Ammo. Gamma rounds. How fast? Holds 32. Okay, quite fast. It's very reliable and it's going quite smoothly, so I bet I can stop exactly at very low rate. 
Yeah, I think I can stop exactly at almost no health. Oh, there is an crypt. The point is, even with Born Survival triggered, I want to be able to still get to self-revive mode. Okay, now I'm very low. So if that will not work, then I don't know what will. We will see in a moment. Let me start the event for whoever is starting it. I never wait. I always start it. Okay. Now. There's Zapper action. There's Zappa. Show me what you can do. Yeah, I'm down. Oh, but <laughs> I didn't wait long enough for the banner to be reactivated. <laughs> it's someone to manually be <laughs> rescue me. Uh oh, it will not work. Ah, uh, no one here. <laughs> <laughs> Help! Oh, too late. Ah! Now I need to do it all over again. Alright. I have some spoiled meat. That low enough or do I need to shoot one more time with a quad gamma how low can I get oh I can get really low and steam pack triggered I should be still able to do it help <laughs> thank you it worked. Okay, where is my spoiled meat? Uh, is it over? Oh, it's too fast. I did it when I should test my damage on him. Where is... Where is... It's too many high damage people. Oh, there is he. Too many high damage people, I managed to self revive myself, but didn't even manage to shoot it. Uh, I can unload on those regular robots. Look how high my damage is with that now 254. Doing 357 on the robot that is shooting me because of the taking one for the team. Hellcat with jetpack helmet. Yeah, this is really good. I have I have one like that too. But I prefer Union. It gives him poison resistance. Poison resistance is extremely important. It would be nice if I would have more room on this wheel. So I could in incorporate the self-revive. Maybe I just figure it out differently. So... If I put those in order to show up first. So first I need that. That's for rad. Gamma gun for irradiation. So I will do uh, this. Then um, star. Gamma gun. I want it to be first. Or just number one. One gamma gun. Use first. Then third zapper. Use second. 
will that sort it as I want it? Oh, the camera will be on top, but then Gamma Gun test zapper. So I can just use it from the peep boy whenever I need a revive. Gamma Gun to, for fine tuning rats. Spoiled Brahmin milk. For a wild, like the quick drop in rats. Then here, Gamma Gun, test Zappa. That is up. I should be always loaded, so it will be ready to just pull and shoot. Quad Gamma Gun is perfect to drop my health to basically one, and then Tail Zapper can finish me off nicely. And everything else is on the wheel. That's high range VATS weapon, high range no VATS. Everyday weapon. High DPS flamer. Need to get fixed. Yeah, I think we got it. Oh, one that I wanted to test. Will I get more luck if I use Party Boy Rank 2 but max out Happy Go Lucky? Let's test it. Party Boy 2, Happy Go Lucky Max out. Party Boy 2, Happy Go Lucky Max out. My luck, 18. So before it will boost. Oh, I was starting from 21 before and it gave me like 12 to 33. Uh, now will I get around 30? 18 boosted to... Oh, it's better. Okay. 33 from 18. So that's better. Party Boy 2, Happy Go Lucky Max out. Alright, got it. That's better combo. Oh, I'm not sharing anything. Why no one is saying a thing? I can share a rank freak per card. What will be the most beneficial share for the team? Bloody mess for everyone or the blocker for tankiness? I think what I want the most is everyone to do more damage and not everyone have room for bloody mess. Especially when you need all those crit perks. There is quite often no room for bloody mess. So let me share bloody mess for everyone. Okay, those are my legendary. Yeah, I know, Master Infiltrator must be here. <laughs> I need it. Could use something else, but what would be other stuff? I know that it's silent weapon, like the f uh, all the flamers. So those weapons are silent. I don't have anything for sneaking. Can I sneak without sneak related perks? If I decide to use it without power armor, let's say in like West Tech. You think fi sharing fireproof is better? Doesn't everyone already run fireproof? Look how good this build rolls. <laughs> it's insane power. The power unleashed. Uh oh. Uh, is it my internet? With my internet? Am I still live? Did the server crashed or my internet? Okay, let's try to rejoin. Okay, so I'm probably live. Must have been the server dying on me.
Oh, Fugazi, thank you a lot for joining Territor's Army, appreciate that, thank you Fugazi, and may the shell be with you, welcome. Oh, you guys got kicked too, okay, so, so that's good, I'm still alive, the server died. Create a new team, let's go for exploration this time around. Fresh server. Quick gamma action. The gamma action is too slow for higher rats, but yep. That works. We'll be using anti-armor holifier with sneak in the West Tech, so let's let's try it again. Does the holy fire works through walls? No, it does not. There is unfortunately no crossplay. Okay, even without teammates, I'm doing good. And without a team, it is important to notice. Without a team, the taking one for the team cannot be used. We got them all. And we have teammates. What, Robert? <laughs> you need more fusion cores? You're down to 75? 75 is already too many. <laughs> you don't need more. Okay, let's see if I can be sneaking. Oh, it's, that's one thing why Gamma Gun is better. When I enter interior, my milk is not working unless I take damage first. Okay, now my health should be low enough. Okay, holy fire. Sneaking. First person view better. Oh, the damage is there. Probably pretty much possible. Look how they burn. Danger, back to hidden. Okay, if I kill them fast, even if they detect me for a moment. It seems to be working without escape. Artist. I like the changes that, like in the past, if one super mutant noticed you, Every super mutant inside the West Tech knew exactly where you are. They changed that. So now if one super mutant notices you and you kill it, you can go back to Toshin. Oh, this is one under me noticing me. Danger again. I don't know who noticed me. Who noticed me? Not this one. Oh, this doggo, probably. No? Still in danger. So I don't know who noticed me. Oh, back to hidden. Extra 100% bonus damage from sneaking, but I'm losing the stabilized. What if I would be to sneak in my power armor? I have chameleon pieces. Not the best for sneaking. Who else noticed me? Who? There go. Someone else seen me. There is Dogo and back to hidden. 
Maybe if I would walk slower or use my agility buffs. It's my foot expired. Uh, Tato juice is... No, no, that's max AP. And uh, where is the... Mud fruit juice. Mud fruit juice, extra free agility and some AP region. Corn. What if I would walk slower? Wait, which button? Oh, this button is... It's not much difference, isn't it? If I switch off running. Running? Walking. Okay, let's try walking. Power armor, but moving less. I'm a shadow now. Super mutants, you cannot see me. I'm the shadow. I'm the shadow of a power armor man. Moving slower. Oh, okay. Noticed and lost me. Gotcha. You cannot see me. I'm invisible. I'm the shadow. I'm not even here. This blue flame is not there. Look at that, it works. <laughs> oh, I've detected now. And back to caution. There is no one sneaking in power armor, super mutants. No! When they detect me, I'm losing my sneak bonus damage. Look at that. Stabilized anti-armor sneak bonus damage. That is crazy amount of damage. So it kind of works. I can sneak in power armor. Without sneak perks at all. <laughs> For extra damage and fuel savings. Oh, Dylan K, thank you a lot for joining Turtles Army. Welcome, Dylan, and may the shell be with you. Thank you very much. I appreciate the support. So it worked. I'm the sneakiest ever power armor guy in West Tech. Oh, I supposed to spend some of those. Give me some fuel back. Oh, hello. Yeah, my damage is good. Sneakiest ever turtle. Now, challenges. What I need to do. Collect a teapot. And cripple a protectron or robobrain arm. How do I cripple them? How do I cripple them without changing my perks? Mm, what? Uh, anything else? Everything else I did? Oh, only teapot and those arms. Then there are some weeklies. Oh, I should kill super mutants with a rifle. Miscellaneous items. I can do that later. Protectron or Robobrain arms. If I... Target them in vats with a flamer, will that work? <laughs> Let's see. No, Holy Fire is not affected by new science per cut. Those are only for small energy weapons, like Enclave Flamer. Not the full-size heavy gun flamers. Okay, protection. Okay, you are not part of the interest. Okay, armor. Mm. Nope, that doesn't count. Uh, if I use this Gatling laser on you. Did that work? No. <laughs> so I need to somehow use a more crippling weapon. More crippling weapon for those arms. 
Okay, it must be a shotgun then. Not sure if minigun can can a minigun two shot explosive cripple. Trying to cripple before I kill, but it's always kill before I cripple. Okay, this is way more tuned down damage. Maybe that will be crippling. Oh, uh, switch on the running again. Who's shooting? Oh, okay, perfect. That's and go. Did that cripple it? That did! Okay, great! I can cripple without going for the perk. Now we need one more Robo Brain. They live in there. So I don't want to equip a crippling perk for crippling daily. That's too much work. There we go! Challenge completed. Then our standard qualifier, so I don't use more steam packs. Perfect. It worked. Now the teapot. Let's go visit the huge teapot to hopefully get a small teapot. <laughs> Can I? I need to find a small teapot. Yes, Holy Fire is a heavy weapon. Teapot. That's a saucer. Do you have a teapot? Someone looted this place? I don't see any teapots. What is the teapot for me? Oh, come on. Where do I look for a teapot if not at the teapot place? Okay, I guess somewhere else. Sweetwater. Do you have a daily for me? Excuse me, Mr. Sweetwater. Oh, I don't even have honey on me. Sweet water. Do you have a teapot here? No teapots. How dare you? It's on your shelf. No teapot. In the house with sweet water? Where did you found one? I don't see any unless someone already looted them all. Upstairs? Where did you found one? I think people... People went here for those teapots. Maybe I wasn't the only one with this idea. Let me check as well station. Is there a teapot here? There's a ghoul here. Oh, hello. Don't see a teapot. <laughs> no teapot. How dare you not having a teapot for me? You say where else? White Spring has lot of teapots? Helvetia house with honey? Maybe no one went to Helvetia. Okay, that sounds like where people do not go very often. What are my predictions of the Atlantic City update? My prediction is that Bethesda learn from their mistakes and Atlantic City will be a combination of repeatable content and the storyline. If they didn't learn that, then I have no words. I'm pretty sure they did learn that. That we want both. 
We want progressive story. They already... They are already onto something when they started... Is that a teapot? House. That's a teapot. Got it. They already started learning, I think, as we got this unique quest line with one per day quest uh, for the caravan uh, here at Big Ben Tunnel. So there is another teapot and another teapot. If someone wants, I'm not picking them up as I was here just for the teapot to do the challenge. So if someone else needs a teapot, it's in here. I'm just taking this honey. A honey jar is not a honey. Okay, there is honey for the sweet water. What is the honey jar then? What is the honey jar? Palace of the Winding Pub has 14 teapots. I did not know that. Oh, uh, you are still interested about my power armor. <laughs> I didn't show you. So, that is my last left arm with fire resistance. I'm really happy with this one. As you can see there is a lot of stuff, but stars are those. This is uh, first, second and third star. The other effects, those are set effects from Union. And those are effects on power armor pieces and mods. So, this is Aristocrats, Fire Resistance, Weapon Weight. And this is Chameleon, Action Point Region, Weapon Weight. So, another amazing piece. Then Chameleon, One Strength, Weapon Weight. This is a bad piece. Then I have Over Eaters, Agility, Weapon Weight. Amazing piece. Uh, then I have Over Eaters, One Luck, Weapon Weight. I would say good piece. And helmet cannot be legendary, but still has so many effects. Oh, the event is completed. So let's visit Sweetwater. Now I have his honey. Oh, honey jar is just glass and no honey. That's interesting. One month left. A little bit over, I think, one month for the scoreboard. But we don't have a date yet, so... Nothing confirmed. Definitely at least a month. We have at least four more weeks. So we should be good. Oh, I have so many caps again. Are there any interesting vendors on this server? There is one. ND. Let's see what Andy has. And my legendary perks I was already showing, but generally I have lockpick, legendary lockpick, master infiltrator, taking one for the team. And four different specials. Endurance, Agility, uh, Luck. What did I miss? Intelligence. Four. Oh, I like that. Four vendors next to each other. It's so easy to find. I appreciate this, Andy. Oh, and there is a lot of cheap magazines and bubble heads. I don't want this right away. In fact, workshop turret damage. I'm taking that. Uh, Tomahawk, Workshop Repair Cost, Agility uh, Bubbles, Bubble Head for Caps Farming, who knows, one day maybe it will be needed. Explosive Bubble, Lack, Repair for Fusion Course. By the way, Repair Bubble Head works with Gatling Plasma, so that's actually very useful. Nope. Sneak. Is it good? I don't know. Oh, script. There are script items too. Oh, wow. I will spend all my caps here. 
Grognak the Barbarian is harder to detect. Guns and bullets, liberators, resist night and scope weapon damage. Damage versus Yergwai. Live and laugh. Two luck under the influence of alcohol. Oh. I can combine that just for gigs and giggles. I can combine that <laughs> with, with Nuka Cola Dark. So I'm buying this magazine. Team. No, a left tap for a script. Medic Flymer for a script. Cheap plasma cores, I don't need it. Item condition loss. Less damage from insect, longer bleed out time. Oh, if you are confused about this, I was longer bleed out time. You know what that is? When you go into down state, there is 30 second countdown when other player can revive you. 100% longer bleed out time changes this countdown to one minute. And I was thinking that affecting the bleed on the weapon, and it is not. <laughs> it's how much time your teammates have to revive you. I was so disappointed when I discovered that. Let's hunger and thirst. Craft on monster damage, lock picking sweet spot. Those are so useless. Agility one. Yeah, you're taking one agility. Who knows when you will need it. Less noise while sneaking. I'm curious if that's good with power armor sneaking. Power armor is loud. I don't know. I'm taking that too. And no. And there are plans. I have everything from this vendor. It was a lucky vendor. A lot of stuff from Andy. Thank you, Andy, for your vendor. We appreciate that. One weapon. There is eight. What foot camps I've been using in WT? What's WT? This Brahmin didn't appreciate me trying to take the milk. What is WT? Okay. 2k for a script on this vendor. Hmm. Could still get some. 2k for a script. It's more than I usually pay. I usually pay up to 1500, but it's a double script weekend, so I need more script than usually, so I will pay up to 2k for 40 script. Now it's a little bit more than I should normally pay, but... Scope gain damage. Reduced weapon material cost. It's good if you need to unlock mods and craft a lot of weapons for that. This script one. Another script one. Now two stars? No. Two stars is like cheating selling them so expensive. That's not a bad railway. Nuclear keycards are not selling for 400 each. No, no one will pay that. They weigh, they worth much less than that. Just because scoreboard is dropping so many repeatable keycards. Uh, what's that? That's automatic, isn't it? Yeah. And that's not enclave, that's regular. It's only two star. Okay, I spent enough cups and I'm rich. I'm down to how many cups? 21k. Okay, so I spent 18k caps today. That's a lot. Oh, 
So WT was for West Tech. I wasn't using much in West Tech. I just pop regular herbivore food like a juice and corn soup. Like there was corn soup, mud fruit juice and potato juice. I, I wasn't using buffs. It just improves sneak from the last patch. It is easier to sneak in general. Those are good hunting rifles, but let's be honest. Who will be using hunting rifles? Any of them? No, there is no perfect roll. I mean, plus one agility is kind of close. But I think perfect roll will be still a reload speed or something on the third star. Those are close to perfect, but still in script prices. Oh, that's Junkies. Weapon speed. Oh, but it's not Ultra Sight. Okay, that's regular. Two Laugh Taps. Laugh Tap have been so badly outclassed by this new Elder Smart. Bye bye, Laugh Tap. You've been good in the past. And regular flamers, you've been good in the bus too. No more. There are better options. And 21 uh, script left. Do I have anything for 21? I would need like, what is it? Two star power armor piece? I think I could have one. What is on that? That's one star. Need two star or two one stars? Okay, this will be two one stars. And perfect. Or script for today then. Oh let me let me grab my gold bullion tickets. Yes, uh, AP region from coffee, corn soup, uh, musical instrument, uh, armor pieces, it all adds up. And coffee is different in this sense that it's a short burst of AP region, but it works when you are inside VATS. All the regular AP region is disabled when you are using AP. So coffee, that's why coffee is so powerful. You can be firing in VATS and it will be regenerating. Forty. Oh, I'm close to the cap again. Do I already have all the plans from the 79? Uh, during double script, there's really not too many vendors selling script stuff. As everyone wants it. During regular days, you can find script weapons for up to 1500 each, but not during double script weekend. Everyone needs those, not too many people have those. Okay, Rex, do I still need something from you? Oh, Rex, uh, it does look like I have all your plans now. Okay, nothing from Rex. Okay, so I'm done with Rex. <laughs> I own every single plan that Rex has in his assortment. That's good then. Yeah, quite often the special effect from those unique weapons is tied to a skin. Not all of it, but quite often. Hello there, my faithful Brahmin. You don't have any milk for me. I'm sad to hear that. Popcorn is like replacement for coffee. If you need to use the vats for a little bit, you can spam popcorn. Not as good as coffee, but you can use it. Especially if it's a short spam. Okay, let's use those 
sheep, that's my milk. What do we have here? Let's see what people added to this. Anyone need that? If you need, guys, feel free to take it. I don't need any of those. I'm not taking it. Okay, a plenty full of carry weight. All right. Why am I here? I don't need any of the plants now. Still good. Oh, I know why I'm here. Fermenter. Is my new Kadark ready? Yes, it is. So I can... I have three bottles of new Coca-Cola Dark. We need to get more later. For now it will work. New Coca-Cola Dark is the work... It's a perfect drink. Since it works with the perks. Happy Go Lucky. Party Boy and Cola Nut, making it ultimate temporary luck booster for heavy gunners. As in power armor, you always have a little bit less luck than you need, and with this simple trick, you have enough. And I think I did everything I needed to do today the build is ready I will show you everything now so the weapons for self revive is the combo of gamma gun and thirst zapper for me works great is the banner still active yeah it is so here's how it works let's see if I can repeat it and if it will be so well as it's supposed to be I will use either spoiled Brahmin milk or if I have time other spoiled stuff as I'm running low on spoiled Brahmin milk. So something like spoiled meat is a lot of rats. I will start with that. Even when Borsavavar triggers, it's okay. I will drop my health really low, something like here. Then back to weapons. Use Gamma Gun. Oops. And I did it too much, okay? I should go slower. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. I messed up. I need to practice that. It's very important when I'm actually trying to speedrun anything. Okay. Uh, spoiled milk. Uh, spoiled milk. Spoiled milk we are saving. Spoiled meat. Drop really low. One more. Shoot slowly with Gamma. Okay, there need to be one sliver. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning how low I can go before I suicide instead of just going and putting myself down. Okay, again. Spoiled meat. This time it will work, you will see. One more, then we go slowly with Gamma, until... that's probably low enough, okay, let's see. Switching to Test Zappa, is it low enough? Yes, it is, so I don't need to go lower than that. And second wind triggers, and my damage is boosted, then I just go back under... F okay, back under... Gamma gun if needed, and if I have some spoiled stuff, I use it. And that's the nerd rage, where I can shoot that. Now automatically my damage on the holy fire is up to over 200 before adrenaline. Yeah, okay. I got it now. Don't overdo it. The... the the test zapper is good enough to take more than one point of health. So that's good to know. So I know how to do it now. Oh, I need to take more gamma gun stuff. 
If I would like to do it with only Gamma Gun, I think it's too slow. Even if I have enough Gamma Rounds. If I would like to use only Gamma Gun... Yeah, that takes way too much shooting, you see? Only Gamma Gun is too slow. Some food type need to go there. Oh, launching nuke? Okay, launch on Scorch this Queen. Let's kill her. Real quick. So I will wait a little bit longer then. I was thinking that I'm done, but if you're launching nuke on my server, I will wait. I will wait. Launch on Scorch this Queen, we do it. We'll gather some Brahmin milk in the meantime. If you need Brahmin milk, one good location is Big Bend Tunnel West. Yeah, I know there are some radiation sources in the world, but I need independent methods that do not rely on world present radiation sources. Okay, where I'm running. The Brahmins are to the left. Oh, someone was here. The Brahmins have been milk. Oh, this one wasn't. Five milk on this one. Perfect. That's like a jackpot. Then there is this brand new spot. Uh, middle mountain pit stop. That is as well great for ammo. Oh, how much ammo can I get some from middle? I think I was looting ammo last time, so it will still not refresh. But I'm curious how much ammo can give you this mountain pit stop. There should be some extra Brahmins. Yep. You see? How much milk? Let's see if those refreshed. Uh, nope. I was looting them recently. Oh, this refreshed, this didn't. Pretty sure those containers are a really good method. There is a lot of them in here. Another place for Brahmin milk when I need to restock Tunnel East. What's better, Auto Axe or Chainsaw? Uh, Auto Axe with Electrified mode will put superior damage. That's the present state of things. But Chainsaw is definitely more accessible. So you don't need 500 stamps to get it. I think I'm good with Brahmin milk. Yep, 54. I was hearing like an alien weapon. What is that? Who's firing alien weapons? There's no one there. Where is it coming from? No problem. Wait, let me switch on the sound. Voices. If the scorch of the ferals don't get you, the rads will. You were doing something else. What? Oh. See that? Who's firing alien weapons? Who's there? Oh, someone killed everything here. Oh, there is Hobo Hobo. That's where I hear the alien sound. Is the nuke going? Someone said that they're launching a nuke. Is someone launching a nuke? 
I don't see anyone in the silo. Is someone sneaking inside the silo? I don't see any nuke coming. I don't know if it's still up to date. Is someone launching a nuke? Oh, lost connection. Bravo nuke ready. Uh, bravo nuke ready. Okay, let me see if I will be able to get in. You did the prep. Okay, let me see. Let's hope it will let me in. So I will launch it. We still need the card, but that's a quick part. If the launch prep is ready, I will launch it. Unrecognized personnel detected. Activating security system alpha. Card, card, card. Where is the card? Unidentified intruder Oops. detected. Not that. Beginning search. <laughs> Card. There we go. All clear. Security incident in the residential sector. Yeah, if it's ready, I will launch it. If it's not ready, I will probably launch it anyway, as I'm doing the silo. <laughs> so I will not just go out now. That will be quick. Quick jump for the silo. Uh, it hurts. Yeah, dodgy for the win. Those turrets are currently deadly, but dodgy and power armor? Keeps you safe. Welcome, General. Welcome, welcome. Scanning. Key card detected. Proceed to the control room with your nuclear key card. And warning, warning. Reactor breach detected. Security lockdown. To survive. Initiated. Oh, I have only two symptoms. Doors have sealed to limit contamination. <laughs> My boss survival ate all my stimpaks. control station to initiate repairs. Overwhelming security lockdown. Opening bulkhead doors. Please stand clear of the doors. Alright. We are going between the crates. The crate squeeze. Oh, this symptomatic scan suit so you can create a new biometric card ID. It's ready, but robots respawn. So I need to remove those robots as they will try to kill me when I will be launching. Could probably kill them faster with Terrets, but oh, there is one more. He will come down after he finish with this robot, so we better switch it off. Key card accepted. Keypad access granted. Oh, I need the code. Code for the Bravo. And new King Scourge Beast Queen. One on the way. 
Confirm. Give me all the staff robots. Let's see if I, I will be alright with self revive this time around. Alert. Hostile remains at large. Recommend non combatants seek secure location. Thanks for the prep, Axel. Yo, Nuke is on the way. Come yeah, on, let's go to the wrist. Fly closer. Uh, too far, not so accurate shooter. Finally, okay, the nuke on the way. Let's see my buffs. The scout's banner is still 19 minutes. I guess no one. If any brothers pick this up, why scout code and courage is only three minutes? Okay, something is misaligned Seven. here. We got no idea how many are in the cave. Let's go for buffs. Potato salad. Juice. Sweet water blend for 15 perception. <laughs> Useful with vats. Mad fruit juice. Corn. Light. Okay. We ready? Should probably prepare to the test Zappa usage. Okay, now go slow. How much health? Six. Four. Four is probably low enough. There's the zapper. Oh, Axel, thanks a lot for five bucks, mate. Appreciate that. And Axel is saying thanks for the extended turtle time. Thank you a lot, Axel. Appreciate that. Okay, so let's uh, self revive. Uh oh. Does it work? Something broke, but <laughs> we are having a self revive. Oh, why is she over there? Holy fire. Uh, we're going for psycho buff only, as I'm not going for bad criticals. Just going for normal burn. Like a normal burn it works great. Could be a little bit of a not the ring. Is that the see call my AP if I try to go for mass criticals? Oh, oh, oh. There was a little bit of a lag, but we didn't crash. So the damage is crazy high even without mass criticals. I'm tempted to use some a little bit. Maybe just a little bit of mass criticals. If I get my AP back, I will try. Look, one of us will go. Too much red, ramen milk. Where is she? Come here. Okay, the range of weapon. 
Oh, it hits her hard. Should I be using it after all? Okay. Overdrive, Psycho Buff. The Dark. And now when she arrives, I need a little bit of coffee. I need a little bit of coffee. If she's not landing. No, I'm using coffee, don't fly away! I'm freaking wasting my... Wasting my coffee! Hover in one place! Stupid. That's cheating! Freaking cheater! Ah, I hate when she does that. Just flying outside of range. What's that? Try that now. Now I can pull some criticals. I will kill her. She's dying. She's done for. Good job, everyone. We got her. Manually pick up. There was another scorch somewhere. Legendary that I was firing at. Is it this one? Nope. This is a legendary, but maybe I didn't hit her. I was firing at some scorch beast. What's going on here? Oh. Burned. Burned on arrival. I don't know. Where is other legendary? I probably was too far for loot. Now we're done for today. <laughs> that was a good ending. Another score which she was a little bit refusing to land, but we did it anyway. So it was a really good one. And anti-armor, faster fire rate, holy fire. That shreds everything inside or outside vats. Just amazing. Oh, you wrote anti-armor, faster fire rate, AP holy fire? Wow, that's nice. Spiky, that's a good roll. So, I hope you enjoyed this live build creation with your turtle, which is me. Uh, this build will be released later on. I don't know if tomorrow or Monday. I will see where I will have time to put it up. Uh, as Holyman Plus, as I did a beginner build, if you are low level, and now it will be full-blown endgame build capable of soloing absolutely everything and anything. So that's the point, with full DPS on bosses, with VATS and coffee spam and all the goodies. And that being said, thank you a lot for tuning in, from watching, and see you all in the next one. Have a good one. Bye. Turtles out.